Amen. It makes us to be in charge. Then the more we pray, the more we have got the authority to be in charge, not to be victims. Amen. Because of our prayers. Then basically prayer makes us to be in charge. We can control because like the more we pray, God becomes the part of us. Amen. And when God give make us to be part to be become to be part of us, He gives us the authority, like He God has got the authority. Because God is not the, the subject. But God has got the authority. He has got power to control things. He controls things. God controls things. Then also the more we spend the, the time in His presence, and uh, God is able to give us authority to control things and make things to go our way, our direction. That's why we hear God saying that, uh, let there be light. And there was light. Because God wanted light. There was no light. Amen. And that's why we hear about when Gabriel, when he was visiting Zachariah, when Zachariah could he not believe, he was, uh, he was troubled and said that because I... Uh, I live in the presence of God from today. Zachariah, you're not going to speak until the child is born. Then use his authority. And uh, Zachariah could not speak. Then in the same way, we have got authority to cause things to happen. Whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven. Amen. Then that's why... One of the things that I'm trying to tell you is that um, prayer makes us to be in charge. And our relationship with God makes us to be in charge. It doesn't make us to be victims, to be subject. But if you are not you are not pray, living a prayerful life, or if we're not being a prayerful life, it becomes a problem. People become subjects. They become to be subject because the devil becomes to have what? Power over you. Yeah. But uh, then one of the basic things that we have to to fix it's not it's not just a miracle. Miracle is nothing. We, we can pray it happens. But your relationship with God needs to be fixed. Because once your relationship with God is fixed and you are firm, you are not going to have one testimony or one once of miracle, but you are going to have multiple miracles. Yeah. And uh, that is the better way to be where you, where, when you are living in a place which is full of possibilities. Not... Um, a place there are some people who got one victory after that one victory it uh, they did not get other victories and we must create an atmosphere where you can have several victories in the presence of God yeah. and the atmosphere where the devil does not have say or does not have power over yeah. by being what people of prayer people or, who are having a close relationship with God. That's what one thing I was also trying to to teach you, to train you about that um, let us do things, let us put these systems that you can grow in Christ and, um, and when you have grown over some time you will begin to see lots and lots of benefits. No matter how painful it is, because sometimes, yes, it is painful. Eh? It costs you It cost you something. You know, like when, when any, any exercise, it, which is 
which benefits you. It's painful. You know, you have, you have seen people who are, who are jogging every day when yeah. they're trying to be in good shape. Yeah. Those people who are trying to be in good shape um I, I don't think it's just a, an easy exercise it's a hard exercise that they have to go through the same with the bodybuilders somebody who's a bodybuilder carrying the weights and all that it's not an easy exercise it's a quiet exercise that need effort but at the end of the day you'll find them in a good shape That's why they say no pain, no gain. Then it's the same with prayer. Or when you are, have to put yourself to be in, in spiritual shape, it might cost you. It might cost you some effort when you're saying, let us pray, let us worship, let us wake up and pray. But all those things, they are putting you in a good shape. Amen. Tomorrow you will see the results of those prayers that you are doing. But it, it, it needs your particip participation and it will help you to grow. Yeah. Then I think uh, above all, that's another thing that needs to be done that, okay, you, you decide that, okay, I also want to, to put myself in a good shape spiritually. I can tell you some of the things, what, what does it take? It, it takes a decision. We, 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 we decide. Like somebody who's, going, who's beginning to go to, to gym, don't they yeah. decide that, okay, from today I'll be going to the gym every day because these things benefit me. Yeah. Anything, I think it takes commitment and uh, it takes also also personal decision then when we pray God will make it work Amen God will make it work Anyway I want to I want to pray for you for this to work I want to pray for you for this to work